our Unit 4 review for rounding. And before I even start looking at the worksheets, I'm going to draw my cheat sheet. And I know if my numbers are 1, 2, 3, and 4, it falls back. And if I have a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, or a 9, we move up to that next number. And it's not the number that's underlined, it's the number right next to it. So if we look at number one, the six is underlined, so we look at that nine. That nine makes that six go up to a seven, so I have 57,000. The five in front stays and everything else turns to zero. Number two, the four is underlined, so I need to look at the five. And the five is on that side to make things round up. So the 4 is going to turn into a 5. The 77 out front stays the same. And everything else turns to 0. Number 3, the 3 in the 7th place is underlined. So I look at the 6 in the 100th place. 6 is enough to round it up. So the 3 becomes 4. The 6 out front stays. Then we have our 4. Everything else turns to 0. Number four, next to that nine is a one in the hundreds place. One doesn't change it, so the one stays out front. The nine has to stay where we're at, and everything else turns to zero. Number five, the five is underlined, but I have a zero next door. Well, I didn't put zero on our chart. We should probably add it. It's lower than one, so it's not going to make a number bounce up. So the 1 and the 5 both stay, and everything else turns to 0. Number 6, the 7 is underlined, so I look at the 5 in the 1's place. That's enough to round it up, so the 7 goes up to an 8. Everything in front stays the same. The 7 turns into an 8, and everything else turns to that 0. Number seven, the four in the hundreds place is underlined. So I want to look at the four in the tens place. Four is not enough. It's so close, but it's not enough to round it up. So my four stays, and everything out front stays. So 33,000 stays, the four stays, and everything else turns to zero. Number eight, the four is underlined, and I have the eight next door. Eight is enough to bounce the four up to a five. So the 8 in the front stays, the 4 turns to 5, and everything else is a 0. Number 9, I've got a 5. I have to bump that 1 up. Hundred. Number 10, next to the 3 is a 2. That doesn't change it. So all of that stays. And I get the zero at the end. Number 11, there's a six in the hundreds place next to the three that's underlined. That's enough to move it up to a four. There's nothing out front, so I start with a four, and everything else turns to zero. And next to the two, two. The two stays, and I get the zero at the end. Number 13, I have a 9 that's underlined, and next to it's a 9. Well, that 9 is enough to bounce it up. When I bounce up this 9, it would become a 10. I can't write a 10, so it becomes a 0, and I actually have to change that 8 to a 9. It goes up a whole nother place value. So my 5 and the 9 out front stay the same, and then I have 900 because that 9 changes things a little bit. Number 14, the 2 is underlined. There's a 4 next door. The 4 is not enough to change it. So we get 32,000. Number 15, the 5 is underlined with a 1 next door. The 1 is not enough to change it. So we leave everything out front. The 5 stays. And then we get our 0. Number 16, the 1 is underlined. The 3 is next door. 3 is not enough to change it. 
So we had the two stays and the one stays and everything else, zero. Number 17, five is underlined with a seven in the hundreds place. That seven's enough to bump it up. So my seven out front stays, my five turns into a six, and everything else is zeros. Number 18, I have a three in the hundreds place with a one next door. That one doesn't change it. So we have 57,000 stays, the three stays, and everything else turns to a zero. Number 19, I have a seven with a one next door. The one's not enough to change it. So the 67,000 stays, and everything else turns to a zero. Number 20, I have a three underlined and a zero in the tens place. Zero isn't going to change it, so our 77,000 stays, our three stays, and everything else is a zero. And our last one, my zero is underlined with a two next door. The two is not enough to bump it up. So the 90 stays, and everything else turns to zero. So the trick with our rounding is to remember the number next to the place we're looking at. If it's five or higher, we round it up. If it's zero to four, it stays where it's at. Everything in front stays the same. Everything after turns to zero.